Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to knit a toddler bear head for boys or for girls 2-3 years old. This hat is made in rows and uh, there will be seam but it will be almost invisible. Uh, make sure to check my blog if you want to need a smaller version of this hat. And for this, uh, to make this little hat, I used uh, Italian yarn. It's a uh, Lana Verlanda, and it is pure wool, pure new wool, and it has uh, 190 meters per 100 grams. And recommended knitting needle size is 4 or 5. So this is around uh, yarn and I'm going to knit in two strands of yarn. And I was using um, double pointed needle, knitting needles number 4. And you will also need a hook. To make ties uh, but uh, if you don't have hook or you don't know how to work with hook then uh, you can uh, skip that part and then make ties by knitting an eye cord so we will also need a scrap yarn for prov provisional cast on method so if you're ready and want to knit this beautiful teddy bear hat for your baby uh, as a pre or as a present for someone, stay tuned. We are going to start uh, using smooth uh, piece of scrap yarn, uh, preferably in a different color. Uh, cast on um, about 36, 37 uh, stitches. We will need only 32 stitches. So now take a needle and take a yarn and what we are going to do, we are going to pick up stitches through the bumps on the back of the chain. So let's start picking them up. Yeah, this is one. Two. You can help yourself uh, with hook. Three. Like this, you're going to pick up 32 stitches. Five. Through the back bumps of the chain. Like this, go on till the end when you have 32 stitches. Okay, I picked up 32 stitches. Please count them one more time. So let's get started with the main pattern. So slip the first stitch. Uh, this is the 
salvage stitch and make a reverse yarn over then knit 28 stitches or knit until you you have three stitches on your needle I forgot to tell that the hat uh, will be done with six parts so this is the first part of the hat so we are going to increase from one part and decrease from another part so we made the reverse yarn over from this part we are going to increase and from this part at the end we are going to decrease now knit two together when you have three stitches knit two together and the last stitch will be all also selvage stitch you always purl the last stitch you always slip the first stitch and you always purl the last stitch so this is the first row let's turn and now we're going to knit all stitches so slip the first stitch and knit all stitches till the end of this row and the last stitch will be purl stitch and also I'm going to show you how to knit a yarn over stitch This is yarn over stitch, so you knit it through the front loop in order to get rid of the big hole like this. And the last stitch, the salvage stitch, we always pull it. So now we are going to repeat the first uh, uh, row. Slip the first stitch and make a reverse yarn over. Then knit all stitches until you have three stitches on the needle. Knit, knit all stitches. And from this side, we are going to decrease. So we knit two together. and purl the last stitch then repeat the second row and knit in total 24 rows repeating first and the second rows okay i've done 24 rows and now i'm going to make the first die uh, for this I need a hook so 
uh, I'm using 4.5 millimeter hook but you can use 4 as well as the, the needle number so I make chain 30, 36 you can make it longer or shorter but I don't like uh, long ties so 36 stitches was enough go on okay I've done 36 stitches and in the second stitch from hook make a slip stitch slip stitch slip stitch slip stitch you see now we have ties and go on till the end so the, the last slip stitch and then I return the slip stitch previously back to the needle left hand needle so take the needle and let's start with the second part slip first stitch and knit all stitches knit till the very end and purl the last stitch turn please use a, a stitch counter or piece of paper and write down all rounds the second row of the second part slip the first stitch reverse yarn over and knit 28 stitches until you have three stitches on the needle now knit two together and the last stitch I purl the last stitch row number three slip the first stitch and knit 29 stitches At the end, knit reverse yarn over stitch. This stitch. And the last stitch, pearl, pearl one. Now you're going to repeat 
the second and the third row. I need in total in the second part 24 rows, repeating the second and the third rows. So you will see kind of a zigzag. So it goes up and then it goes down. So I've done the second part as you, you can see. Now I have uh, 32 stitches on my needles. And I'm going to start the third part. Slip the first stitch and knit till the end. knit all stitches. At the end of this row you will have a reverse yarn over stitch and we are going to decrease here using this stitch. So this is a reverse yarn over stitch. So knit two together, next stitch and yarn over stitch and purl. Turn. The second row, slip first stitch and knit 29 stitches and purl the last stitch. In this part, in the third part, there will be from one side no increases as this part will cover the forehead, baby's forehead, and from another side we will go on making decreases. So there will be still a zigzag line. So 29 stitches and the last row. Row number three. Slip first stitch and Need 27 stitches because at the end of this row we are going to make a decrease. Knit until you have three stitches. And now knit two together and purl the last stitch. Next, uh, the fourth row repeats uh, row number two and knit in total 22 rows, uh, repeating the second and the third rows. Okay, welcome back. So I've done the third part, that's how it looks now. And I have in total, I have 21 stitches on my needle and going to start the fourth part. So slip the first stitch and knit till the end. And now from the side where we were decreasing, we are going to increase. Just from one side. And from the other side there will be the second part that will cover for forehead. So knit all stitches and purl the last one. Turn. The second row we are going to increase here. Make a yarn over. Then knit 19 stitches. 
and curls the very last one. Row number three. Knit all stitches and knit that yarn over stitch in a way to get rid of hole. So through the front loop. This is yarn over stitch knitted and curl. Knit uh, 22 rows in total, repeating the second and the third rows or until you have uh, 32 stitches uh, on your needles. Okay, I've done the fourth part and now I'm going to start the fifth part, well, I'm going to increase from one side and decrease from another side. So two more parts. So slip the first stitch and make an increase, reverse yarn over and knit until you have three stitches on your needle and knit two together and make a salvage stitch. So at the end of this round you're also going to have a um, yarn over stitch. So knit it together to make a decrease. This is yarn over stitch and knit together and curl. The second row, slip first stitch and knit 29 then knit yarn over stitch and curl the very last stitch Knit yarn over stitch and curl the last stitch. And turn. Now you are going to repeat the first and the second row back and forth and knit in total 24 rows. So the fifth part is ready. That how it looks now is pretty long, and now we are going to make the second tie. So take a hook, slip the first stitch like it was after the second part, and 
chain 36. Done. In the second hook from chain, make a slip stitch. And till the end of of this chain. So the last stitch, return it back to the left hand needle and let's start with the part number six. So the first row need 30 stitches after there are slipped stitch and purl the last stitch Pearl. Row number two. Oops. Row number two. So we are going to to increase from one side. Make a yarn over and knit twenty eight stitches, and then knit two together. and purl the last stitch. Knit two together and purl. Row number three. We are going to knit all stitches across and knit that yarn over stitch. And curl. Now you're going to repeat the second and the third rows uh, and knit in total 24 rows. So I've done with the part number six. So I cut the yarn, leaving pretty long tail, about 50 centimeters. And now I'm going to unravel provisional cast on and get leaf stitches back onto the needle. So I have to pick those stitches up and you will have same 30 
tools teach us. Leave those stitches. And the very last one stitch. We'll take a hoop. and go on so i have now 32 stitches from one side and from 32 stitches from another side and now i'm going to use invisible seam um, crafting garter stitch so first of all i insert the needle as to need and I slip it off the needle. Then in the same stitch insert the needle as to purl and leave it. Then again insert the needle as to need and slip it off the needle and insert the needle in the next stitch as to purl and leave it. Go on to the second knitting needle, insert the needle, yarn needle as to knit and slip it off the needle and then insert the needle as to purl and leave it. Like this, you are going to join two edges together and you will get a almost invisible seam. Especially after you wash the hat, the seam will be absolutely invisible. like this and from the wrong side same looks pretty good go on till the end and then i will show you how to finish with the top till the end. Okay, I've done. Look at this. It's almost invisible. Now you have four yarns 
at the top for tails. So you split and take just one, thread it through the yarn needle and join together those triangles or zigzags So find the very top of each triangle and you go from back to front, from front to back. Like this and here from front to back from back to front like this and again in the same stitch that you were before from back to front from front to back And same here. You go underneath both loops. So the needle, you insert the needle in one, underneath one stitch and, and take it out underneath the second one. So you always work in the same stage that you take out. And I forgot to tell that we are go we are sewing the top on the right side. So this is the first part, then you pull the yarn to the wrong side, you see we have seam here, and now you pull the yarn a little bit, just to make some wrinkles but slightly and then you weave in ends And like this you go on till the very top, till the center. Now you find another yarn, the second one, and join the second part, opposite part together. So there will be three lines, three triangles and repeat the same as for the first seam. So when you're done 
with all three seams that how your hat will look and now I'm ready to start with the ear for the ear cast on 12 stitches and so it work you work in garter stitch here so you slip the first stitch knit all the stitches till the last and purl the last stitch and then you repeat the first row uh, for 28 rows So in total you will have 28 rows. So the second row, the same as the first one. Knit all stitches and purl. Knit 26 more rows. And now I'm going to bind off, slip the first stitch and knit the second stitch and then slip the first over the, the second. Like this go on the knit. So you slip, on, you slip only the first stitch, then you always knit. Till the end. And purl the last stitch and slip over. Pay attention, now you have tails from one corner and from the opposite corner. So leave a long tail. You are going to use it to sew the ear. Now take a yarn needle, fold thread And do the same what we did when we were sewing the top of the hat. So go underneath both loops. Work in the same stitch. And the same here. So the seam will be on the wrong side. So this is the right side.
for a little bit. On the wrong side, do the same what we are doing. Just pull a little bit. And weave in end. Like this. So repeat for the second part. Split the yarn, take just one and repeat. So I've done the second part and now I'm going to to fold again the ear in two and sew those pieces too pieces together, two sides together. So try to go underneath all four layers, back and forth. All four layers. Then in this direction, one, and in the opposite direction. Okay, the ear is ready. So repeat for the second one. And now you need to sew the ear. So find the middle, the center, and find this seam and you place the ear a little bit up. So not on that seam, but a little bit higher. And sew it back and forth, back and forth. So, okay, this has been today's tutorial. I hope you liked it and thank you so much for watching it. And yes, if you don't want ears on the top, you can buy a small, uh, 10 centimeters pom-poms or make it on the yarn.